G'day, Adam the Aussie back. Uh, another review for you today. Uh, what we're having a look at today is a cardo tank and the cardo tank in question. The Bella tank. Uh, Bella tank from Who's Your Vapes, uh, which is www.whosyourvapes.com. Uh, Who's Your as, as in H O O S I E R, vapes.com. I'll put a link um, down in the comments after I've uploaded the video. So if you're interested in finding out a bit more about, about the Bella, uh, you'll be able to find the website, no problems at all. Uh, what I thought we'd do today is uh, take you through you know, the, the setup of uh, how to fill up a Bella tank uh, and have a look at how it operates. Uh, we'll also compare it with its sister tank, that's the Elegance tank there, also from, from Who's Your Vapes. So depending which style you takes your fancy, you've got the two options there. They also do stainless tanks uh, as well. Uh, they came they come standard with a uh, plastic tube. It, uh, this, Who's Your Vapes now give you the option of, of upgrading uh, to a glass tube, so which which is really good as well. I've ordered uh, three or four of those myself to to uh, deck out my uh, tanks with glass, which will be fantastic. Uh, you know, which will enable us to to vape whatever juice we like without fear of uh, cracking or discolouring our plastic tubes, which will be really good. Um, now, stock-wise, uh, for a tank. Uh, you know, of this quality, as we know in the vaping world, all the, all the good stuff always seems to be out of stock. But uh, Bella tanks and Elegance tanks aren't too bad. There's normally something on the side available, um, not always uh, the full range, but normally something. Sometimes they're totally out of stock, but that, you know, in recent times appears to have only been for a short period, a week or two. So keep an eye on the side if you're interested. And uh, I've been talking to Charlotte from Who's Your Vapes, and I do know uh, they've got some new stainless tanks hopefully up uh, in the next couple of weeks before the end of the year um, and I've had a look at a few of the colours of the new tanks they're going to release in 2013 uh, which are just being polished up and, and finished up at the moment and they look really good too so uh, a lot of exciting things happening down there at Who's Your Vape so yeah we'll, we'll have a look at the, the tank comes in three pieces uh, I'll put it back together so you'll sort of see how it comes come to you in the mail. So it'll, it'll turn up like that. So that's your top cap, uh, your tube and, and bottom cap. Uh, one of the features of, of the Bella tank is just the ease in which uh, you can refill them. So, you know, when we, you think of Vivian Ova's easy to fill, well, uh, she's just bang, bang, um, and away you go. I had some uh, reservations, I guess, when I first got my first Bella in the mail and pulled off the top. So uh, that may have some issues when it gets thrown in my pocket and that sort of thing. Um, I basically thought it was going to pop off, but um, you know, six months down the track, it, it's just never happened. So they they're designed really well. They'll they'll stay there snugly, uh, you know, and, until it's time to refill, and then they're more than happy to uh, slight twist and a pull off they come. So which is which is fantastic. Um, yeah, we'll take you through filling one up. I prefer to use, they take a standard uh, standard length cardo. Uh, I do believe you can get extension or longer tanks that, or tubes that allow for the XL size cardos, but I, I like the, uh, I guess the form factor of the uh, being a bit shorter, so I just use the, the standard two, uh, standard length cardo. I use the two ohm bogues uh, with two holes, got a hole punched each side there. Um, that's, I use 70-30 PGVG, so I found the two two holes work really well. Uh, for me, we're just coming into summer in Australia, so you know, my juice may start to be a bit thinner with the warmer weather, and you know, we'll see how that plays out, but uh, definitely had no problems over the last six months with, with the two holes uh, in, in the cardo. So, you know, how do we load this cardo up in, in the Bella? So, first thing I always do is just grab a, a drip of juice, um, and just just rub it around the top um, and a bit around the base just to give it a bit of lubrication and then we'll remove our top cap from the tank 
Um, and I found the easiest way to uh, sort them out is inserting up through the bottom. So basically it's a slight twisting motion. In it goes, okay. And just with the, as you can see there, the, the cardo does get a little bit deformed uh, from, from the punching. You, you, you're gonna find a little bit of resistance there. So basically slide through, no worries, up to, up to a point. Uh, and once we get there, um, it just requires a bit, a bit more force, I suppose. So we just give it a little twist and push through there, um, you know, to get past our, uh, the part where the holes are. And then uh, we're pretty much get that last bit in. Line him up. Okay, so there we go. Installed, easy as that. Uh, that cardo I've dripped 15 or 20 drops in, so um, you know, it's got a bit of uh, bit of juice in there, so you know, we'll be able to show you how it vapes pretty much straight away. Once you get to that point, I leave the, uh, the white caps on. Um, it says to in the instructions on the website to leave it on. I've tried them with them off. Um, didn't really notice any difference, so um, you know if they tell me to leave them on and it vapes the same, I just I just leave it in there. Once you get to that point, filling with juice and uh, lid back on, and you're ready to go. So we'll uh, do a fill up and a bit of a vape. So basically, you know, normal dripper bottles, no worries. Um, and you get there's no actual line that you fill to, but once you fill it a couple of times, you you know. Uh, how much juice they'll take, which is about there. You now you're talking, uh, I don't know, six, seven mils from the top of the tank. Put our lid back on. Little twist. Um, and there's our absolute chocker block Bella tank. Um, sometimes what I do, if I'm not sure I've got enough juice in it, if I, uh, you probably won't be able to pick this up, but. If you loosen the top cap, you see you can see the air bubbles there, um, just letting the juice in to to your cardo. So, you know, which this is pretty full anyway, this cardo. But um, just doing this process for you know 30 seconds or so, uh, squeezing back down, off again, and you see little bubbles there. So uh, that just tops your cardo right up, um, and you're right to go. So what are we going to Put him on old, like him on the old telescope. There we go. That's how they look. Uh, this one's the gold dust, gold dust Bella. Actually, the second this is the second gold dust I had. I, I lost, I lost a jacket that had a. Uh, gold dust attached to a smoke tech bolt in the pocket um, and uh, that's another story but yeah Charlotte looked after me there and, and sent me a care package it replaced my uh, gold dust bella and, and bolt and sent me a charger and batteries and all that sort of stuff free of charge so um, it's not going to change my opinion on, on the device you're getting a true and honest opinion I guess I'm just uh, letting you know the, the level of customer service uh, that the Hoosier vapes can will will provide. So um, as you can see there, uh, just a little bit of juice. You know, it was absolutely chock a block. Now we've got a little bit going into the tank. We'll give it a vape. Beautiful. Away we go. So um, geez, that's nice. That's a uh, Vaping on some sweet gingerbread from, from DJ stuff. So that's how they work. Um, so as far as function goes, uh, that's it. You, when they get low, top them up and away you go. Um, and you know, once you get your, uh, your cardo 
right, how many holes and all that sort of stuff and, and the thickness of your juice. It's like hitting a, you know, a freshly filled cardo every time. They just work, just work fantastically. So um, I've got no complaints there for sure with, with their performance. Um, what don't I like about them? Not much. Um, the, they occasionally build up some condensation in that, in that top area. Um, and I guess, you know, if you can have a look in, into there, up in there they build up some condensation which uh, occasionally appears as a, a bit of moisture at the end of the tip. The, the way around that is to you know, finish your drawer off. So instead of um, stopping drawing as you let go of the button, sort of finish your drawer off and suck the vapour out and, and away you go. So honestly, it's not a big issue. Um, but uh, that's probably the only, only downside I've had with any of my Bellas. I own three of them now, or two Bellas and, and an Elegance tank. I've got a fourth one on the way, uh, which is... Um, was ordered in their last sale. I've still got a sale going actually, so 20% off um, at the moment. I think for the rest of the month on the selection of it's actually right across the whole site, not just on not just on the tank. So worth looking at there. Um, size comparison. So we'll have a look at um, our old friend the the Vivi Nova. So we'll line them up. So what you got there, it's uh, hang on, about there, a um, bit shorter than a Vivi Nova with a, a standard 510 drip tip um, and probably a fraction narrower than the Vivi Nova as well but, um, but having said that there's, there's stuff all in it, you know, about the same width I guess you'd say, so um, that's your size comparison there. Compare it to uh, a Mini Nova. Line them up again. Um, about there, roughly. Yeah, so it's a fair bit shorter again than the than the Vivi Nova, um, but obviously wider. Um, juice capacity they hold two and a half mil. Never measured it out. That's what it says on the website. Two and a half mil. Um, you know, which is which is a fair quantity. You've got an extra mil in your car, so you're carrying around three and a half mil. Gets most normal vapors through a day. Doesn't get me through a day, but uh, I sort of got to top it up uh, towards the end of the day. I'm sort of you know, around your five mil a day uh, vapor, but um, yeah. So, so that's the size of it there. Um, now the elegance tank. We'll just have a quick look at that. So, because it's hard to tell on the site um, the differences, but um, you know they're about about the same width. Um, but the elegance tank is, you know, four or five mil taller, and, that, and that's really the only difference. Um, there is the height. Basically, they operate exactly the same way. You know, the top, same, just pops off. There you go. Pops back on. You fill it up. Really a dream to use. You know, as far as operation goes, um, you couldn't find an easier product to use, so, which is a big plus. Plus they look good. Um, yeah, so look, if you're interested in the in the Bella or Elegance tanks, uh, head down and down to Hoosier Vapes and, and check them out. Uh, I'm pretty, not pretty happy, very happy with mine. Um, and yeah, if you've got any questions, you can duck down to uh, the Aussie Vapors forum and uh, Charlotte's got a thread down there. I'm sure you'd be happy, she'd be happy to answer any questions you, uh, you may have or yeah, just get in contact with Charlotte on the on the website and away you go. But uh, well, thanks again for your time. Um, I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers.